Okay, so a lot of people are having problems with their first derivative being uh, too tall and kind of compressing their pH curve on, on your, in their graph. So I'm going to show you um, one way to quickly compress this in order to make it uh, easier to deal with. Uh, first, you can put plot this on a secondary axis and scale it. Uh, that takes a little bit of work, um, but in reality you can just scale your first derivative. We really don't care what the value of the first derivative is, we just want the largest one. So I'm going to apply a scalar here, and so the scalar I'm going to start with is the number 1. And all I'm going to do is take my first derivative, my y value, put it in parentheses, and then multiply it by that multiplier. But make sure that, I'm going to hit F4 on that, I fix that position. So I put the dollar sign in front of the h and the dollar sign in front of the number, the 3, and I hit enter. And I feel that down. So basically now all of my first derivatives are multiplied by this number. And so I want this to be about half this size, so I'm going to multiply them all by 0.5. So by multiplying 0.5, my largest uh, value is here now. So I can now uh, just leave it as such, and of course it expands the rest of my curve. And that's how you simply scale your first derivative.